Guys, it's finally time. The long-awaited Summoner's War update 7.7 is finally... 7.7? 7.7.0 auto-update and server maintenance. They skipped 7.0, 7.1, all the way up to 7.6. Now we get 7.6. Okay, all jokes aside, all jokes, it's obviously a typo. All jokes aside, Summoner's War update 7 finally here. There was a lot of hype about it. Let's dive in. Let's take a look and see what's going on. We know that there's guild stuff. What else is going to be in this update? So we have, here's the schedule for all that stuff. If you're too lazy, which I know you are. Uh, we can go take a look at the guild cut. This is just uh, do guild things and get some scrolls, get some mana, get some yeah, mana. Very excited. Mystical scrolls, ancient coins, rainbow mon crystals. We do also have siege box. And wow, let's get into the update seven uh, when we get into the update in like five seconds. Uh, mana, mystical scrolls, summoning stones, attribute scrolls, mystical scrolls. The same. It's all the same stuff, right? Okay, there we go. We we officially gone over that uh that guild content i like how i don't even do videos talking about the events anymore i'm like it's a thing you do stuff and just use energy and stuff and do pvp and whatever and queue up for rta and then leave the phone on the side of the desk and don't pay attention to it and uh there you go get some points uh okay 7.0 update details there was a lot of hype about this i was very hyped i was expecting a lot i was hoping for a lot let's see if it lives up to our expectations i want you to rate this update in the comments between one to a 7.7 .7. that is the scale that we're going to use for this update and you let me know what you guys think about this and then come to us can just look at the comments that can be like oh Okay, well, now now there's a lot of 7.7s. We did a good job. Maybe they did do a good job. Maybe everyone likes it. So, uh, Monster Subjugation, which is the Giant Slime, which we already covered in the last video. Uh, we also have Guild. Guild Battles are being replaced. I mentioned this a few times in different videos. Guild Battles are being replaced by Guild Rival Battles and then World Guild Battles. So, this is more for casual and new players. This is more for players that... It's basically inter-server, but it's guild battles with the inter-server stuff. We already talked about it. There's two rounds of five uh, five attacks each, so it's ten. So uh, This is something I think you guys are going to be very excited about. Legendary exclusive summons, which are basically like the normal exclusives. However, they are just no three stars. Uh, I would like to see the rates on these. I don't think the rates are actually in here, though. I, th I was looking for this the first time. 300 legendary, remember, uh, 300 legendary summoning stones to summon once. The Blessing of Summon and Splendid Summon will not be applied, which is just usual, right? Uh, then we have Siege Battle Trophy Box Reward Improved. Half you guys uh, don't even bother doing this anyway. But those of you that do, this I think is uh, worth mentioning. This reappraisal stone right here added as a reward. We don't know how often they're going to drop, but it's nice to have just an extra reappraisal stone in there. So, rune rewards obtainable from trophy boxes have been approved as follows. Just extra, not extra, just better quality. <laughs> Potent wait, 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 wait. I'm going to backpedal from that. Potentially better quality runes could drop if you're very lucky and the rainbows and unicorn farts are, are happening at the same time and you just caught in between both of them and you actually get something good from those. So, here's drop rate improvements over here. We have the guild tower, which I think they kind of covered in the other update, didn't they? So, uh, this is also cool. Guild profile function. They did mention this, but they didn't show it. Guild profile function where you can uh, place monsters. <laughs> said that kind of weird. Place monsters of other guild members in the guild tower building has been added. Everyone gets one rep monster. It's, it's by default, I think it's set to, well, we could just see in a second. But by default, I think it's set to that player's rep, and then they can change it. And then the guild leaders can choose which monster goes where. So you know there's just gonna be crazy LD. Everyone's gonna be like, oh, put my LD in there. I'll just show, show off my LD. And then the one guy, the one guy in your guild's gonna be like, I want you to show my chow. Like everyone just sticks out like a sore thumb. It's like, who's that guy? It's the guy, he, we wanted him to use his LD, like, like Chimera, but he wanted to use his chow. So he used the chow. Uh, this is very cool though, very cool looking. It's nice to actually have like a guild place because before it was just using the icon for the guild leader, whoever the guild leader was. So it was kind of like weird that way. Uh, guild achievement improved. So some of these are just changing from like any of the guild war achievements to the new guild battle uh, achievements. So achievements relating to the existing guild battle have been removed. 
Uh, new achievements, blah, 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 I just said that. Okay, we have guild-related changes. Grade mark that represents a guild has been changed from guild battle to siege battle grade. Uh, I think for the most part, I mean, like, this is fairly self-explanatory over here. And then we have a new guild profile screen when you tap the guild menu in the summoner profile. Uh, we also have exclamation mark will now be displayed on the chat icon guild chat tab when there's a new guild announcement. Arena enters your battle and attack chance will not be deducted. The game ends abnormally during the battle. This is not even guild content uh, related, right? Some battle loading images have been changed. A banner where you can watch the live stream of SLEC 2022 in the Arena and World Arena lobby has been added. Uh, and then we have a following gift to all summoners to celebrate the guild content massive update. 100 summoning stones, 500 guild points. So this is the long-awaited update 7. Is... Is... Giant Slime Boss. And... <laughs> I know you're like, wait, 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 wait. I'm looking for more. Yeah, I'm looking for more too. I'm looking for more too. We have a giant slime boss. They changed world. Ba uh, they changed guild battle to world guild battle. And for them, and they they changed a couple. I feel like they changed those rewards because they're like, we need filler for this. I wonder if they pushed this out because uh, I mean they did do the dev note. They let us know what was going on. But I wonder if they scheduled this because they love to do this. By the way, if you guys notice, if you if you look at the big updates. They correlate with uh, the other large games doing things at the same time. So, because they don't want people switching, like if a new uh, hot new gacha game comes out, they don't want people switching to that other gacha game. So they're like, new Summoner's War big update. So if you see a new big release, Genshin 3.0, uh, it's coming very soon. It's coming the end of the month uh, in about two weeks. So, so we should expect a little bit more from Summoner's War possibly collab monsters coming uh, around that time. Maybe it's not collab monsters, maybe it's something else, but I personally, I expect a collab uh, announcement kind of thing uh, for that. But if you notice, like we just had Tower of Fantasy release, there have been a lot of people hyped about Tower of Fantasy and Summoner's War Update 7, and it's not a coincidence. They do this on purpose because they don't want people leaving Summoner's War and playing other things. They're like, no, stay here. We have new exciting things. You don't have time to play that other stuff. Stay playing Summoner's War. This is actually not even just them. Epic Seven does this. Other other mobile gacha games do this as well. They they try to time their releases around big other game releases. So just uh, just to try to make sure that the players continue to play the game. Anyway, this is update seven. We could have had new two ways. We could have had collab announcement. We could have had so much other stuff. Personally. Personally, I, I really was expecting more from Update 7. I was expecting more from Update 7. They, they themselves were hyping, uh, Comptos themselves were hyping up Update 7 to be more than just guild content. But for the most part, we're just getting guild content. It's not bad that we're getting guild content. Any new content is, gen <laughs> generally speaking, any new content is good content. But there was so much hype and there's so much waiting for Update 7. I feel like we could have... Uh... I, don't, I feel like we could have got more. I feel like we should have got more for this hype of a release um, of the actual 7.0 update. What do you guys feel? Leave it in the comments. From Rank it from 1 to 7.7. .7. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you. I can't wait to see the comments. Oh, God. I'll see you in the next one. I'm sure we'll hit the giant slime, all kinds of stuff. I'll see you in that one.